Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain mesh menu instead to draw off because we need a polygon and editable mode. Okay, I, ins I insert a cube and a plane to explain the other setting of that tool. In a plane, I reduce the number of the plane and click and drag and make all of them editable. Okay, we are going to this part. You can select the uh, polygon that you want. This tool will be active when you are in a polygon. As you can see, when you are in a model mode, this is a dynamic menu <coughs> toolbar here. If you go into the, any of these uh, component or elements, as you can see, the different tool will be active here. This is an inset or extrude in a tool. You can access it here or you can access that tool in a mesh menu in set. The shortcut is this if you want to do it fast. But if you're going to the edge or point mode, as you can see, this tool is uh, disabled. <laughs> so first going to the mesh tool, surface or polygon mode and select one surface that you want. It's very simple. I want to select, click it here, it's the main tool, and just go going offside of the, of the object and click and drag to the left or right. This is extrude inner. It's copy the polygon inside of itself and create a line and a new point. Here is the offset. You can ch change the offset. After you click and drag, do not click and drag again because it inset it again. It's important. Just change the offset. Oh, sorry. Click and drag again and do not click anywhere, any comment because you exit the tool. <coughs> Before clicking anywhere, you can you have to change the setting and after that you click anywhere and everything is done. Be careful about that. Click and drag and you can change the offset here if you want. I explain the offs uh, uh, offset variation in this plane. For example, I'm in this plane and I want to <coughs> extrude in all of those polygons. Control A to select all polygons, click and drag. As you can see, because, select the tool to bring its settings, because the preserve group is active, it's preserved all the groups. Select all the group and make it in a one polygon. If you untick that, as you can see, each polygon uh, extrude inner separately. Change the offset. As you can see here, you can uh, <coughs> uh, randomize the offset in a percent. Okay, as you can see, it's randomized the extrude inner of those polygons. You can change the randomizer polygon that you want. And you can click and drag and offset. And here the subdivision, going to the cube. <coughs> oh, sorry. Control Z, click and drag. As you can see, if uh, this is one polygon. If you increase the subdivision, you can add the subdivision here. If you want to create angle, it's create angle for you. And the maximum angle. <clears throat> when you select two uh, a polygon that has a 90, for example, in here, uh, degree angle corresponding to each other, if you click and drag, you can here, you can reset value. We have two tabs, as you can see. With holding shift, you can bring all of tab together. As you can see, I extrude inner to polygon and this preserve group does not uh, appear that does not work here because the maximum angle is below 90 degree if you bring the angle above 90 degree above that angle, angle that two polygon has have they are preserved group and connect to each other pay attention to that as you can see as you bring the angle above that degree it's the now the uh, preserve group acts here and you can extrude inner uh, those two polygon together and change offset 
an extrude in here again and extrude in again and you can uh doing like this this is maximum angle here you can reset values reset values that you want for example i want to extrude inner in click and drag if you have an <clears throat> sitting here and you want to exactly this sitting uh, execute for example on this polygon you don't need to click and drag again just click new transform this sitting will be uh, execute in this polygon again and this is a real-time update we need it to see the everything real time okay this is insert tool very important and easy hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release